Hey everyone, I'm your pal the Kanyan, and what you're seeing is my desktop, or rather Adobe Audition. And this is the audio waveform for the Rocket League video I just got done editing. Now, right away you might notice, hey, you got some really high audio there, what's going on? Well, that's me, and the normal audio is my friends. Now, if it was just this portion here, um, you know, I wouldn't bother opening it up in Adobe Audition. I would edit that in Premiere Pro. However, um, we're kind of dealing with the entire audio file. Uh, so, that's not... It's not ideal, you know what I mean? That's uh, definitely not what we want in life. So I'm gonna go ahead and play just a chunk of this. Um, you can hear my friend's audio. I was running the the worm guy too, but um, I love the worm. <laughs> and my audio is not too bad until you get over to the parts where it peaks. Uh, lower your volume a little bit here, just in case. You might want to. So, ugh, loud, right? So what I'm actually going to do is highlight that. Um, for the sake of the demonstration. So it took me a while to learn that I could go to Amplitude and Compression and go to Dynamics Processing. Now, um, I'll link this, link, I'll put a link into it in the description. Um, Barry from the Game Grumps uh, was getting a lot of questions about their Dynamics Processing. And he posted an uh, imager link that basically showed the gist of it. Um, I tweaked it to my own needs a little bit too. And you know, you're probably going to have to tweak it to your needs as well, and nothing wrong with that. But let's apply that, and you can see it actually made a huge difference. It's loud still, but the audio is more level. I was running the, the worm guy too, but... I love the worm. <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully, I... Not nearly as uh, ear blistering as it was. Um, so I kind of had to do that with the entire audio file, but that's not quite the end of this video. I'm going to come over here, and, uh, hang on, that's a little, there we go, let's just adjust that. Now, that, that looks terrifying, right? So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, it should fix it up, no problem, or at least you would expect it to, like I did the first time I went through this. So let's apply that. So this spot looks a little suspicious, doesn't it? What's going on here? <laughs> Whoa, what is happening, right? Well, I'm laughing, and my audio is peaking so high that Dynamics Processing is actually just straight up cutting the super high peaks out because it's so disruptive. How do we avoid this? Because you can't have audio chop like that in the middle of a video that you're going to show to an audience. That's, that's not okay. So I'm actually going to put a hard limiter on it, which is also in amplitude and compression. And I'm going to set this, uh, you know what, let's just do a solid negative 7 decibels. And apply. So what you'll see there is it cut down my, my audio peaks down. And what this does is it lets um, Dynamics Processing smooth it over without having to chop out parts of my laughing. So now what we get... <laughs> still really loud, but I mean, we're all yelling and screaming, but um, the laughs are there. And uh, we're all just as loud as, um, as each other without me being like the dominating voice. The reason why I'm making this video in the first place is just to kind of demonstrate the need for decent audio in even just a Let's Play video. It's not too bad. I taught myself how to use this software in about a day. And again, um, like the Game Grumps were cool enough to have posted their settings. And I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But I just wanted to, there's a lot of people who are doing Let's Plays nowadays, and I thought this showing how I balance my audio uh, would have been kind of beneficial and cool. So that's all for this video, honestly. I just wanted to kind of share this. And if you guys want to see the video that this became, 
I'll put a link to it in the annotations off to the side and a link in the description. And for now, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking this video out.